Guys, what's up? It's Jeff. Half-assed gaming here. Um, got a request for a video. I'm going to do my best to show you how to do it and what to do and where to do it and all those good things. Um, I got a request for um, putting parts into a modded truck. I mean, realistically, you could do it with an SCS truck as well. Um, for example, you have a um, OBJ or another, you know, file type from another truck or a part that you picked up from somewhere, and you want to put it on your truck um, as an accessory. It's not something that I've really explained as well as I probably could have in the past. I've definitely done something on creating accessories, but generally it's taking a stock bumper or something and making it different than it is. So this is going to be a little bit more, a little bit more like um, taking something from somewhere else and putting it into your truck. So. Um, I'm going to go through everything. I will try to create the links to the s to segment the video after it's uploaded so that you can click on the individual time frame and see what portion I'm at in um, the process. So like creating the... Um, first, we got to create the directory structure. So we're going to do that. Then once we do that, um, I'm going to show you how to incorporate both your the truck and then import the obj or whatever into that um, space and get it to work all together um, and export it and the whole nine yards so um, hopefully you guys will enjoy this and it'll uh, help you again with just a, a, another little piece of um, getting everything to work for you in the in the modding world i know that it's, uh, you know, you forget after I'm in the place I'm at now, um, you forget like doing the simplest, smallest things is like something that I just do when I don't think about, um, you know, you don't know how to do that because you've just started or, or whatever the case may be. It's, it's something that you just you just don't know yet and I'm just like whipping through it um, so yeah so um, what I've done so far is I've made a folder over here called parts video so here's that um, and what I'm gonna do is do this and then I'm gonna do this and open another window so we can kind of work side by side here. Okay, so this is our parts video folder. So we're going to um, say add a part to um, geez, let's think here. What can we add? We can add something easy like a bumper um, but I don't know if I have one in OBJ format right now. Either way, I got a parts folder here. What is this? That's the suspension and stuff. That's nothing too special. Um, so let's do this. So I'm going to use the, um, I'm going to use the W900. Um, this is probably one of my most favorite parts of using PitPim or the PIX format that uh, SCS uses. There's so much you can do without even opening Blender, um, which is really nice sometimes and I'll explain to you why um, 
let's see. I put those in. Let's see. So we got to find our trucks that I cr made into a... Uh, let's see. That's the beta of 131. Why do I even have that? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's look in here. Do, 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 do. Custom SCS. Here we go. All right, so... I've been working on um, doing some stuff to the 579 and the T680. You probably saw that I was doing a single axle T680. So that's what this is all from. Um, but we can use this pretty, pretty easily here. Um, let's grab the, um, the W900. So we're going to go into my games, Steam library, Steam apps. Say I open a second window. I'm not even using it. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. American Truck Simulator. W900. Well, let's copy this. Um, go back over here. Custom SCS. Drop that in here. Put that there. I hate when I do that. So we're going to make this SCS W900, like so. Drop that in there. Then we're going to convert or pix that. That isn't going to work because um, I did not add the additional files to it. So we're going to go over here, pick up the um, pre-files. So this is the environmental files and the shared folders and etc. Now we can go back over here to converter picks and drop that on that. All right, so that did its thing. We now have the expanded folder. We're going to go back over here. Um, drop in the post. All right, so here's what we have. Um, this is the W900. It's ready to go. Um, really straightforward to do what we're going to do here. Um, I'm just going to, we don't need the trailer file. Um, so you got the upgrade here. So you have, we're going to, we're going to import some exhausts. Okay. So we're going to import some exhausts into this W900, we're going to save them, um, apply, a, apply a texture to them, um, get them saved up, export them, and then I'm going to show you how to take that export 
and make your own SCS file out of it, okay? Um, so what you want to do here is now that we have this, we're going to open Blender. And we're going to do this. This is important, by the way. Um, I don't think I explained this very well either. Haha. <laughs> so right up here in this corner, um, wherever your path settings are for your SCS project, you always want to apply those first. Um, it's something that I do, but don't say. Um, and the reason why is because if I do this first, it pulls this hookup information all the time. You just go into this folder, press OK. Now that folder's already there. The reason why this is important is because sometimes when you import it and you don't do this first, you just do it in the, like if I do the import here, if I just do it here, it doesn't come up with the information for like, there's nothing here that says, um, where's my hookup values. And what that means is when you import and don't have this assigned and then you export it without doing this, then all of your, like, um, all of your um, headlights and taillights and blinkers, all those flares don't work. Um, it's like a weird bug. I don't know if it has to do with how converter picks changes, like converts it or, or something, or if it's specifically because the path isn't set beforehand. So just get in the practice of... Um, of setting this base path first so that the hookups are always there and then you just have to do this and boom and you're off to the races you don't have to worry about reassigning every stupid um, flare when you import the truck um, so now we're gonna go in here import actually let me turn on my keys too so you can see increase that a bit and increase that a bit Hopefully that's good enough. And we're going to go here and there and there and there and there. All right, so we've selected the truck PIM. Um, that's what we're going to bring up. Import the truck. And I'll show you how to um, bring in the exhausts to look at them up against the truck. Um, it's pretty straightforward, too. Yes, I know the W pass. I haven't included the W pass information in my uh, my pre and post files, so that's why it says that. And this is a constant thing with the truck paint um, so don't don't hold that in too high of a regard there but we don't care about the w pass in this particular case anyway it's not really a big deal because we're not changing anything with the truck we're just adding an accessory to it all right so um first order of business you're dealing with all this you know all these collisions and blah blah stuff let's just get rid of that so over here in your sidebar um down here it says SCS tools, right? Click on that, no wires, no faces, boom. Now you don't have all that garbage in your face. Um, if you wanna turn on material mode, you can. Then you can see the color, blah, blah, blah. Um, so we're gonna find the exhaust node, um, which is right there. Um, and then we're going to press Control S, excuse me, Shift S, cursor to selected. Okay, so that puts that there. Now we're going to go to the exhaust section 
in the upgrade and we're gonna assign an exhaust All right so there's one of the stock exhausts it's got the um, whatever they call those baffles grates etc words um, and that I don't even like those hold on a second let me get out of here import by the way that was delete hierarchy I'll show you that again going too fast again so here um, you want to get rid of these exhausts just press delete hierarchy here if you do it individually then it leaves the pieces hanging around and all this that's just whatever um, so I I import a, a, a stock exhaust um, because I want to see how the stock exhaust looks um, and here's this is better these are the ones that those are the ones were day cab ones alright so now we get the ones with the uh, the real ones over here for the for the big sleeper and such so so I want to get a good idea of how this is gonna look so um, I go to truck just select the the hierarchy the root hierarchy part go to your object um, button here um, and then you want to change to the what chassis you're gonna use um, because if you don't then you get all this stuff in the way right like that so I want chassis long one so now it's gonna show me where the exhaust pipe is at the base here so I can see it's not gonna intersect with the with the tanks um, and you can do this you can import like on the uh, 389 um, you can import the uh, exhaust in those and import the tanks because those are separate on the um, the the tanks are not included on the 389 um, they're up there an actual accessory so you can include the tanks and then you can see where you're gonna place your exhaust so this is what's pretty cool about uh, blender tools is you can kinda import all these things and see what's going on um, so now we've got the exhaust in here so um, I think I have a an OBJ of some chinos somewhere so we're gonna go searching for those a bit they might be in downloads nope they are not in downloads no okay so let's go to um, here do 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 steps steps are not helpful you'll have to excuse me I'm not I'm doing this on the fly so I wanted to get this out to you guys in a quick fashion here so let's see um, parts 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 don't have any parts. Where's the misc? It's a toolbox. Nothing in there. Do I have anything in here? Oh, these are the chinos I already did. Okay, well, I wonder where they are. Hmm. Let's see.
This might be a... A tough sell here. Um, let's see what's in that Chino's folder. Okay, so it's just the def for that. Okay. Um, let's see. Do 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 So I didn't really think this uh, through too well, did I? Well, that's what happens when you get to watch videos from me. Um, do 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 do. Um, what's that? Well, that's the toolbox. That's not going to be helpful. Well, Not quite going how I wanted it to. I can tell you that much. Do I have any chinos in here? Where's the C's? Chip trailer. All right. Well, we'll make this we'll make this easier on us on ourselves here. We're going to open another blender window. Um open this uh go to the chinos Expanded truck upgrade exhaust. No, this is the root directory, not the. There we go. Okay. So now we're going to import vehicle truck. Whoops. Upgrade exhaust. Genos. Well, there you go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take... Delete that. Now we get the two pieces, okay? So we get our two pieces of this. Um, we're going to export this to an OBJ. Um, so we can get this done. So this is going to say Chino's OBJ. Okay, there we go. Done. 
Now, um, we've done that, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Now, um, so we have that as an OBJ. So what we're going to do is we're going to import it using the menu over here. Um, we're going to go to here. Chinos, open. So now it shows them down here. Um, so these are our two pieces right here. So what you want to do is essentially you're going to rename this to whatever you want. In this case, I'm going to rename it Chinos. And then we're going to take these pieces that you see here and move them. So we're going to translate. I mean, effectively, we could even do this. We can try this anyway. Oops. Shift S. Selection to cursor. Shift S, selection to cursor. So that went pretty smoothly because they were already on this truck. So if I undo that, right, what I would do is I would take them, select them both using the shift key. I don't know why it's not showing shift and click, but shift click to grab more than one piece and then you're going to translate double click and then I would just kind of play around with the numbers one put it in ISO mode by the way five and three and then you just keep moving it forward until it kind of matches up where you think you want to go which is like right there ish and then you move it up Maybe 1.3. Maybe a little bit higher because the angle of this exhaust is like right there. So maybe we're at 1.5. So there, you could probably go up a little bit more if you wanted to. And you could probably go forward a little bit more maybe. Right, so it's not hitting the step. Uh, maybe it is a little bit. We'll back it up. There you go. Like that. All right, so now if we take away this piece and this piece, we can see how it fits on the big sleeper. If you get in here close, you get the brackets attached to the side. And they're looking sharp. Um, so now that we've got that going for us, we can get rid of these two pieces. So select those two, or select one at a time. You can press delete. Well, you gotta have them visible before you do that. But anyway, press delete. Grab this other one. Press delete. There you go. So now. We're going to take these two pieces and we're going to move them. We're going to drop them into the parent, which is the chinos. So now when you select the variant, the chinos show up. All right. Then we're going to take these. I'm going to combine them to one piece. And then we're gonna map them and we're gonna bake them these are the settings I use single piece two times anti-aliasing bake
Oh, it's got two different materials on it, so we gotta remove that, remove that. Okay, here we go. Let's try that again. And then it's kind of weird because it makes you rename it every time for some reason. I don't know why that is, but that's not what I wanted to do. Alright, so now we'll do this. And we'll do that again. Hope you guys are following along. Um, like I said, I'm gonna, I'll, I should have this, um, in the links below, I'll have the, um, the links to the time. So you can just hit the time and, and come to one particular point, um, in the video so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so we got a bake going on. Let's see what that looks like now. So we're gonna do uh, save image. So now we wanna save it inside um, where we're working. So it's SCS W900 EXP vehicle, truck, upgrade, exhaust, Kenworth W900. Now we wanna save this um, as a TGA always when you're doing baking or any sort of um, manipulation of the textures inside Blender tools because it only accepts TGAs now. Save as image. So now we're going to remove that. We're going to say new and we'll say Chino Chino Chrome And then we're gonna assign diff spec add NV, add vertex colors, apply a shadow, change the diffuse value to something like 0.5-ish maybe. Specular, I'm gonna put down to a 0.8. It would help if I typed correctly. Uh, shininess is fine, environmental factor is fine, mapping, UV map, vehicle, truck, upgrade, exhaust, Kenworth, Chino's 1AO, TGA, write this file for the TB, TOBJ, and there you have it. looking deliciously baked right there. So that's that. So now that part's done. We're ready to rock. Um, and you're thinking, okay, well, we're going to export this into the same folder as the truck. So how are you going to how are you going to like figure that out? It's going to make all kinds of auto mats and it's going to be all kinds of dirty and, and uh, it's pretty straightforward. Um, and like I was saying before, the reason why blender tools is so nice is because you can do a lot without being in blender. Um, so we're going to show you how to do that right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to export this now, right? So if I go here to the scene tab, I got to change my export path on my conversion tools path, excuse me. Go down to, I always put it on selection. Excuse me. I always put it on selection in the preview so you can make sure that that's the thing that you want. Vehicle, truck, upgrade, exhaust, Kenworth. That's where we want it to go. We've named it Chinos, so it's going to show up as Chinos in there, not Exhaust 1 or Exhaust 4 or whatever. It's going to be called Chinos. So now I press Export. That's all that's in the view window, right? So we got the brackets, the pipes. We're good. 
press enter. So it's created that object. Now, this is where people get hung up is, well, now I've, I've done all this work. I've imported the OBJ. I've texturized it. I've exported it. And now I've exported it inside the truck, like the truck file. And you're like, well, all I can do is like just recom compile the truck file. And then, but you don't have to do that because all you have to do is now if I go over here and we'll double window this bad Larry. Um, parts video. That's not what I wanted. Custom SCS. That's where I'm at. So now I'm going to say W900 or do, uh, excuse me, SCS W900 Chinos EXP. And you can name that whatever you want, realistically. But what you're doing now is you're doing this new folder. Well, this is going to be vehicle. truck upgrade exhaust now I'm sure there's other ways to do this like through tools but this is like the most foolproof way of what I'm showing you right now um, upgrade exhaust and then Kenworth underscore W900 because I'll show you if I do vehicle truck upgrade exhaust W900 right so we're in the same path vehicle truck upgrade exhaust W900 vehicle truck upgrade exhaust W900 see this right here copy paste you you've just like shaved so many hours of trouble off I can't even tell you I just can't tell you now this is what we do open another blender window I mean, you can remove the other one. It doesn't matter. I'm just doing this because I'm because I can. We're gonna go custom SCS chinos vehicle. Well, this is our this is our path, really. Um, the only thing we didn't drop in, I'll tell you right now, is. Yeah, uh, we got to drop in the um the only thing that's kind of painful is you have to drop in the the post files for the reflection. I mean, in this case I could just do this copy paste and I'll show you what happens just the material cuz you don't need anything else. So now I've got that. I don't need a hookup. I'm going to change the conversion tools. Import. Chinos. See, we're in the Chinos expanded. Chinos import. Look at that. There they are. And they're in a material. The bake is there. See that nice little little bake action going on right there. We can check this. Default look, default variant, default part. That's all fine. Um, go check the material over here. Look at that. It's got the shadow on it. It's got all our settings, base reflection, etc. It's 
So all you have to do now is you've already got it exported, right? Because this is the file. People don't realize, I mean, you can do this manually. You don't need to open Blender to do the conversion tools. Um, I'm just not super privy to it. So all you have to do is clean the conversion tool and then press convert current SCS project because the project is here. So all you have to do is you can plug anything in here, right? If you had an, an expanded item that was like a whole bunch of different parts from like one truck, you just open Blender, add this base thing in. You don't have to import this. All you have to do is put this base in, press convert, and then it's going to do this. Let's use the other window. It's going to come over here and it's going to go, oh yeah, you converted this. Here it is. Chino's right there. PMD, PMG, ready to go. And the auto mat. Right? So you're like, okay, so now what? Well, now we go out here and we do this new folder. SCS W900 Chinos. Right, so now we have the expanded folder and the folder we're going to put in the game. Open that bad Larry up. Copy this stuff. You only need vehicle and automat. And this stuff, if you had any shared files in here, you can delete those as well. All we have to do is make a def. So, here we go. Def. Vehicle. Truck. Kenworth. Come on typing dot w900 accessory exhaust wow what do you think how do you think we're going to get an exhaust file I'll give you a hint. It's in the def. Here we go. Def vehicle. Def. This is the base right here. This is the base. This is what you need to extract. If you if you haven't extracted the base of your game, you're not modding yet. Okay. The base of your game is like the literal most important thing that you can get next to Notepad++. I know you guys love me talking about Notepad++, so I'm going to talk to you about Notepad++ in a moment. Okay, so here we are. Here's the base files. This is what you have in your base. Def vehicle. This is what the game sees. This is from SCS. Here we go. Def vehicle truck. Kenworth W900. Accessory. Exhaust. Let's see. This is perfect. Exhaust number one is perfect for what we're doing. We're going to do this. Copy. Paste. We're going to call this Chinos. We're going to go in here. We're going to call this Chinos. We're going to call this chinos then we're going to change the price because that's too much and i don't like paying too much 1870 unlock two we'll say what do you think the name of the pmd is let's find out 
vehicle, truck, upgrade, exhaust, Kenworth 900, chinos.pmd. Chinos.pmd. It is suitable for, suitable for all those long chassis. It is not suitable for the day cab. So just keep that in mind. You have to pay attention to what you're doing um, in this case. If I go over here to the original thing we're doing and I go to the object portion and I turn off chassis long and put on chassis short, you can already see that the exhaust is going through the fuel tank. So that's not going to be acceptable. Um, that is why you have to get the right file. You want to make sure that it's the suitable fours are for the right chassis and whatever you're doing. So it's not intersecting with other parts. So that's it. We got our exterior model correct. We have our interior name we've changed to Chinos. We changed the SII file from um, shape one to Chinos. So it is independent of that. We got this all set. We got the Chinos exhaust name changed, etc. So all you have to do is select these now use 7-zip or use WinRAR and then add it to scsw900chinos.zip now we're gonna cut that open documents American Truck Simulator mod paste open the game It might be loud. I'm going to mute it. I muted it just in time. Okay. So now we're going to go to the mod manager. SCSW900 Chinos. Confirm. Continue. Let's see if we know what we're doing. What do you think? We'll go to the W900. And go to accessories. Chinos. Obviously the materials need to be changed so they're shinier to be more chrome. But that's it. It's all there bacon everything you can see it's darker inside I'm looking nice on the outside here where the uh, where it's connected to the body all right so like I was saying before um, you really want to you really want to make good use of um, the tools that you have at your disposal here. Okay, um, this is just this video is uh, I don't even know how long because this thing doesn't count how long it is. Um, you can input you know th this is this is i'm talking you through this i'm mostly taking my time um i'm not i don't i'm not very fast at this so it's not like you know i'm magic or anything um but the fact of the matter is is you can you can do this you can do this it's it takes time it takes a lot of time to learn it it takes a lot of time to understand it but it's something that you can do, and um, the the way that tools makes it so much easier. Um, being able to just copy those 
the pit pim files to a new folder as long as you've set them up in the same um, directory structure it's just it just makes it so much easier you don't have to um, import it in and then export it into another folder and you know then the then the textures are in the wrong place and all this stuff it's just it's just so easy um, the next time I go over one of these is going to be um, when you are making a truck um, this is going to be a, a prequel to the next video when you're making a truck that has that shares an interior with another truck so say uh, 387 and 389 or the 2014 587 and the 579 same interior what's different the hood probably a couple of interior bits maybe there's more or less chrome whatever that's stuff that you can edit afterwards swapping interiors using blender tools is like bananas easy like uh I've taught Jesse how to do it, um, and he's used it on his international, and he's used it while doing some edits to the SCSW900, and he couldn't believe how easy it was to get that done. Uh, 15, 20 minutes later, he was telling me that he's already done with whatever he had to do, and he was dreading thinking about how to do it. Uh, it's really that easy. It, you just you just got to spend a little time, sit down at the PC. You know, I know it's 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 super hard. I mean, I have I have a whatever, 22 month old at this point, almost 2 years old. He's like a ball of energy. He's up all t times of the day or day and night and you know, I still find a couple of uh, you know, a couple of hours each week to sit down and and get some things done. This is why I'm making this video for you. If you can do it, you know, if I can do this at this point, you can do it. it, it absolutely 100% you can do it. I've made all these videos for you to do. It's it's just once you once you get through that first hump of how to export and where does it go and all these things you're going to be rocking and rolling and you're never going to look back and you're going to just be modeling up a storm or modding up a storm so just don't give up on you know how it's so much harder now and etc cetera, etc cetera. it's just it's just a different animal and you kind of got to adapt to it and you know that's that's why i'm that's why i'm still doing it so uh guys i hope you liked the video today i know it was a little bit a little bit long um like i said i'm gonna break it up down below i'll put the links down below in the uh description so you can and i'll highlight what portion of the video i was talking about what in so you can easily get at that and, f and get it all figured out um but uh if you know, if this is something you like, please, 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 please hit the like button. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, uh, please think about subscribing. I'm going to be doing more of these videos as I have done for the past two years on how to manipulate things in uh, American Truck Simulator, including European Truck Simulator, because it's the same, or Euro, Euro Truck Simulator. Um, if you are subscribed and you have not hit the bell down below here so that it has like the multi units around it it's only giving you notifications like once a month or something i've read and um where i'm not putting out many videos at this point you may not even get notified about this one because i it just picks and chooses, you know, from whatever variables it decides um, what to pick. So please, if you subscribe, please select the extra button so you always get my videos. I don't do a video every day. It's not super annoying. Um, I'm going to try to do one a week maybe um, if I can 
stomach it if my life will allow it at this point. Um, but I'm trying to think of other things to to do, and that's why I'm doing this parts video today because um, somebody had uh, emailed me and asked me to cover it because I it's not something that I've done before. Um, and I did do it in the old version, um, Blender to SCS, which is no longer used. But uh, in the new version, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit easier in my personal opinion. Um, but this is what I wanted to provide you today. So um, please, please, uh, if you like the video, please give me a like. I, I really appreciate your support. And um, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing for more videos like this. And check that subscribe button. I mean, the, check the uh, the bell icon down below in the just above the description. It'll tell you that you're subscribed to me and how many times you want to be notified. Um, if you would be notified every time I release a video, I would really appreciate it. So, thanks so much. We will see you next time on Half Ass Gaming.